Forum for Demokratia, the Forum for Democracy, is a national conservative party. This party was born as a think tank that campaigned against the 2016 EU-Ukraine Association Agreement in a referendum mostly out of principle against expanding the Union. The eventual rejection of the agreement encouraged leader Thierry Baudet to turn the think tank into a political party to run in the 2017 general election. This new party won two seats and enjoyed a quick rise in the polls, which helped them elect three MEPs in the 2019 European election while gaining nearly 11% of the votes, also being the most voted for party in the Senate elections that year. In 2020, however, infighting within the party led to a steady loss of support. Ironically, members criticized the lack of democracy within the party's structure, while others criticized people close to Baudet and the party's youth wing, accusing them of racism and anti-Semitism. This ended in a surprise leadership election in which Baudet still won. However, this ultimately caused a split in which high-ranking officials, including councillors, senators, and MEPs, left the party. FVD wants to lower taxes drastically, lower the pension age back to 65 years, and reintroduce a higher motor speedway limit of 130 kilometers an hour, in spite of pollution regulations. The party also wants to decrease defense spending to 2% of GDP, cut all government spending on public service broadcasting, and scrap further legislation against climate change on the basis that there, quote, is no climate crisis. FVD furthermore advocates significantly decreased immigration levels, stimulating immigrants to return to their home countries, and ending Dutch membership of the European Union. It also wants to introduce a law which would legally defend Dutch cultural traditions. Regarding the current public health crisis, FVD wants to abolish all lockdown measures immediately, stating that the danger of the pandemic is exaggerated. The party is still led by its founder, Thierry Baudet. An academic for most of his life, he eventually entered politics to reject European intervention in Crimea. He eventually became an MP in 2017 and secured the leadership once again, but at the cost of many important party figures leaving due to his style and behavior. Since entering the European Parliament in 2019, FVD joined both the ECR party and group. 